It is the mission of Thomas College to prepare students for success in their personal and professional lives and for leadership and service in their communities. Our ceremony today stands as our public declaration of that mission and of the contributions of Thomas College, of the faculty, staff, the students, the alumni, board members, family, and friends, as we work to live that mission each and every day. The richness, the depth, and the spirit of that commitment will, I hope, become clear to you through the program that we have for you today. Before recognizing the members of the platform party who are here on stage with us, I would like to take a moment to recognize the following. Honorable Brenda Commander, Tribal Chief, Holton Band of Maliseet Indians. <laughs> Any members of the main congressional delegation, the main state house or senate or their representatives? In addition, I'd like to recognize the guests who are here today representing other colleges and universities as we welcome President Lachance as our newest addition to the ranks of higher education leaders in the nation. If our delegates from other colleges and universities could please stand so we can recognize you. Also, we would like to recognize members of our board of trustees who provide the guidance, the leadership, the counsel, and direction on the college, and whose generosity helps us achieve the goals that we set for ourselves and for our students. If our members of the board of trustees could please stand. And our own Thomas College faculty and staff who represent the heart and the soul of this very special institution you who help guide our students through the transformation of their education here at Thomas. If you and the members of the student government processing today could please stand. <laughs> On behalf of the entire college community, I'd also like to recognize and thank the chair of the inauguration planning committee, Bob Moore, our vice president for advancement, and all the students, the faculty, staff, and board members who served on all the different committees that have planned all of the wonderful inauguration events that we are enjoying today. If all of those members of the different committees could please stand and accept our thanks. And finally, our Thomas students. You give us the great gifts of your energy and your enthusiasm and your commitment. You give us the gift of the opportunity to help you and your families meet your dreams. I'd like to ask that all the Thomas College students and any of your family and friends that are here today to please stand and allow us to recognize you. We will hear today from a number of speakers on this very special occasion and this special celebration of a new president at Thomas and what the promise of Lori Lachance will mean for all of us here today and in the future. Our program will be organized around a few key themes. We will begin with members of the Thomas College community, then we will hear from members of the main community. From both groups, you will hear about the importance of the Thomas College mission and our work to each other, to Maine, and beyond. In addition to the speakers that we'll hear today, please allow me also to recognize on stage some very special guests. Dr. John Fitzsimmons, president of the Maine, College, Maine Community College System. <laughs> Jean Croch, assistant to Lori Lachance, Thomas College employee since 1985. She is a person who has done as much for the success of this institution as anyone else on stage this afternoon. And a most heartfelt and warm welcome to an individual who oversaw the most significant time of transformation at Thomas College, 
who helped us transition from a business college to a liberal arts institution, who helped us transform the campus with new facilities, new programs, new people, and who led Thomas College from 1989 to 2012, and whose name, along with that of his wife, Marty, now stands as a tribute on our newly renovated student commons, President George Spann. George, as we celebrate the inauguration of a new president, we want to also acknowledge all of your contributions that have brought us to this historic day. I'm now pleased to introduce to you representatives from the Thomas community. We'll begin with Lauren Fish, class of 2012, finishing up her Bachelor of Science in Management along with her MBA this semester. Lauren is also president of the Student Senate. She'll be followed by Dr. Donald Cragen, Assistant Professor of Sport Management and Faculty Senate Chair. Dr. Cragen will be followed by Susan Roche, a member of our Thomas College Board of Trustees and Chief Strategy Officer for Hollister Incorporated. Please join me in welcoming Lauren Fish. What an honor it is standing in front of you all representing the student body of Thomas College. It's an exciting time to be a part of the Thomas community. I'm sure you all have noticed the changes made on campus, and if you haven't got the chance, you should probably check them out. The updated Student Commons has a great atmosphere and is very welcoming. The new turf fields are beautiful. It's a bittersweet time for me because my time in Thomas is almost done. I've got to experience the growth over the years at Thomas, and I'm sure this school will be hardly recognizable for me when I come visit. Former President Spann has left a legacy. His influence and passion for Thomas can be seen throughout campus. He will be missed. However, I'm very excited for our new president and what she'll bring to the Thomas community. Having met her, I can say we are in good hands. I've had the pleasure to have lunch with her and her enthusiasm for Thomas and the students was clearly seen. When I asked her if she had any questions for me, she replied by asking what she could do for Thomas. I have also spoken to other students who have had the opportunity to meet her, and they have described her as open and friendly. The matriculation book was a good idea from her to meet and greet with the new students. One student who signed the book was pleasantly pleased when he met her and said that he, she seemed generally interested in his progress at Thomas. Showing individual attention is important, and I feel in the short time that she has been at Thomas, she is already making a difference. On behalf of the student body, I am very pleased to welcome Lori Lachance. 